What's up, All-Stars? Welcome to the School of Ireland. Today, we're gonna to talk about two terms that show up all the time on the AP Psych FRQ, and they are fluid and crystallized intelligence. Fluid intelligence can be defined as the ability to solve new problems and reason abstractly. This type of intelligence decreases with age. For example, have you ever tried to teach an older person how to use a new piece of technology like an iPhone or an iPad? It can be really difficult. Now look, this is not a shot at older people. I'm 30 years old and I'm already balding, but fluid intelligence explains this. As we get Get older, our ability to solve new problems fades away over time, so it makes sense that it's harder to teach an older person how to use a new piece of technology. It also explains why older individuals have a more difficult time when it comes to puzzles and math problems. Another good example of fluid intelligence is a lawyer who's able to think quickly on their feet after the opposition presents an argument that they've never heard before. In other words, the ability to come up with a quick rebuttal is an example of fluid intelligence. On the other hand, crystallized intelligence is the accumulation of facts, knowledge, and skills over a lifetime. This type of intelligence increases with age. So when I get older, my crystallized intelligence will consist of nerdy Star Wars facts and history knowledge that I've accumulated over my lifetime. Here's a chart that will help you visualize the difference between these two types of intelligence. Again, fluid fades away over time and crystallized intelligence tends to increase as we get older. That's it, All-Stars. Can you think of any other examples of fluid or crystallized intelligence? If so, share it in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.